Honestly, that's like the best thing I ever learned. I remember watching that uh, John Petrucci on his VHS tape. I, I think I still have it somewhere. He had some crazy exercises that were good and everything, but that's not, I mean, you could always find weird exercises. The thing that I think helped me more was him being calm. And it showed me that there's no reason for me to be tense and, and try to go my fastest. It's not about that. It's about persistence and just being having fun you know just relaxing he stretches his hands like this and i would do it and i'd start like feeling like, super nice and relaxed so i'll take my time i'll enjoy my practice and it's a way to escape reality because there's always struggles in life we don't want that hard stuff when we're practicing we want it to be nice and you could plan things out and fix any little things that are happening with your fingers you're in control of your fingers, so if they're doing something weird that you don't want, don't do that thing. Slow it down and fix it. You want to think like that Bob Ross guy who does the painting. He's nice and calm, you know? He's not painting like smashing the paint or anything on, on the... You know, maybe you don't have a lot of friends, and maybe you don't have a bunch of people to talk to. You're not a popular person. So what do you do? Well, I think that's a, that's a good opportunity to just go inside to the practice space it could be anywhere it could be you could be i used to practice with people yelling all around me like arguing and screaming i found a way to, to kind of not hear that and you just i just heard the metronome and i just heard the guitar and i practiced nice and i got out of out of all that at least temporarily hear all this noise it's always this all, all this noise around you you don't need that it's not healthy you want to just get back down to what matters to you. Maybe it's practicing the guitar. Maybe it's making a recording or something, a record, making a nice song. You have to like practicing. I know that seems crazy, to, maybe to some people I've heard. You know. So if you're like me and you need to escape or if you really like kind of meditation or like a hypnosis sort of feeling where you feel a little bit, a little bit lightheaded so if you like that, that's definitely a way to do it. I, I'm so used to to staying focused and relaxed where I don't really have to be like a person anymore. I feel like I'm no longer Alan. I'm just, I escape reality for a little bit and it's really nice to be able to do that. And I think that's one of the huge benefits of practicing guitar. So <laughs> stuff like that, but stay focused and calm like you don't have to you don't have to be a psycho um it might take some time but it's i think it's well worth it and i hope to see you on the other side of all that all right i'll see you next time